Hi, I'm back again. Uh, this time, instead of giving people unsolicited advice online and further butting into strangers' lives because I have nothing better to do, I found this weird store online called offthewagonshop.com. And this is kind of a cross between a Walmart in the middle of Eastern Arkansas, um, a gift shop at an off-brand Disney World. Actually interesting and actually funny stuff. But it's, it's kind of few and far between. There's a big mix here. And you know, a lot of it's just like dumb boomer meme type sh like uh, I speak fluent sarcasm. You see this shit here? It's like, could you actually imagine buying that? It looks like it's supposed to sit on a desk or something. It's that kind of thing that you would think is cool whenever you're 13 years old, you know? So if you're 13, I mean, you know, ask your parents for this, I guess. A great little desk sign because I'm sure you need help letting everyone know your gift. Oh yes, I speak fluent sarcasm. I feel like that was kind of a thing that first came around in like 2013 when people would say like, touch my butt and buy me pizza. Some some dumb bullshit like that. Like when, when we started joking about having depression, you know, as a society, I think I think that's when this stuff kind of came around. So yeah, very interesting. That should actually be an artifact. That should be in a, in a museum somewhere. So. Okay, this one looks interesting. This one's actually kind of funny. Ha ha ha, whoops, I peed gum. What gets me is, for one thing, it's super cheap, only $1.99, but also, uh, is it, I wonder if the gum tastes like pee or like, what is the, what does this mean? What does this mean, dude? For those moments when life has you laughing, make sure your breath smells wonderful when these eight fruity pieces of gum. So what does the pee have to do with it? What does that mean, dude? I love that the descriptions are so vague too. This site's awesome. I, I take it all back. This site's great. See, but the, the little gum things are yellow too. So do they, it says fruit gum. Um, for those moments when life has you laughing. So it's like someone pees their pants and you laugh at them, but then you're you're self-conscious about your breath smelling, so you take this gum. I think that's what this is supposed to be. I honestly have no clue. This is such a niche, like, thing. I honestly, I don't know if this is just me, but a lot of the people I've been around haven't peed their pants while I was with them. I mean, if you have some friends that do that, man, uh, this is for you. See, this is some classic, like, 12 12 year old boy type here. Hand slimatizer prank. Only four dollars, goddamn. Hand sanitizer, well, sort of, but no. It's hand slimatizer. Slime in a 2.2 ounce bottle that looks like sanitizer. The perfect prank for germaphobes. Put it on and it slides right off for ages five and up. I feel like a five-year-old would eat this, honestly, if you gave it to him. I mean, like some people eat hand sanitizer anyway, so. The only people that I can think of that carry around hand sanitizer with them, moms, like in the 30 to 40 range, Range, you know, it's the same kind of people that are gonna carry hard candy whenever they're 60, right? Would a mom prank their kid like this? Uh, I mean, maybe if she's trying to be like the cool mom, you know, this still seems kind of weird to me Although I respect the hustle. I think it's a good idea. I just don't know like who the hell would buy this No tear toilet paper gag five bucks for a for a roll of toilet paper that doesn't even rip rip impossible paper work for any sit-down job Very nice. This is like a 2012 PewDiePie font here. No tear toilet paper. It looks like regular toilet paper But it's nearly impossible to tear a great gag But you might want to stash some real toilet paper in a reasonable distance from the potty if you don't want a mess Great for the next time you neighbor shows up asking for toilet paper. This kind of seems like a war crime, honestly. To do this to somebody when they're in that spot, does it just not come undone? Is that what it means when it says no tear? Or is it just like one giant long piece of toilet paper? You know what I mean? And also how can you keep it from ripping? Is it like cloth? Like, is it made out of fabric? That just kind of sounds like good toilet paper if it won't tear. Just kind of bundle the whole thing and keep like a pocket knife, saw it off. That's what I would do. But five bucks for toilet paper, absolutely ridiculous. Um, no thank you. This is also a choking hazard. You see the choking hazard on an entire uh, roll of toilet paper. So this giant roll of toilet paper, make sure you keep this away from your three-year-old. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, see, there's boomers like this. Like, this is easily a Facebook meme. This one right here. Life totally under control. What, what really sets this off as a boomer meme is the, uh, the old art style talking about life. A woman wearing an apron. I can't remember the last time I saw that besides, like, in a 1950s cartoon. And then, like, the stuff's on fire. It's like, yeah, eh. There's, there's jokes like this for millennials and zoomers, 
but only boomers would have it in this format. You know what I mean? This old ass 50s cartoon. This, this looks like it's on a birthday card that you buy for your mom. Oh, it actually is a card, so there you go, kaboom. I would not pay $5 for this, by the way. Don't pay five bucks for that. Racing rubber chicken, one chicken. I mean, $4 for one chicken, that's actually kind of a good deal, I, I do have to say. Rubber chicken on wheels, just pull back and let her rip. This chicken really flies, as in goes fast. Buy two and race them against each other. Okay, I mean, once again, choking hazard, small parts. What are the small parts? Like the wheels? Why does this exist? Who thought of this? I feel like they should be fired. Honestly, I might buy it. Who knows? Anyways, Ant Licks Sucker, watermelon flavor. A watermelon flavored ant pop? Mmm, juicy watermelon with a little bit of ant mixed in. So what are the ants in here? Are they actual ants? There's only one picture. I mean, they, they don't look like real ants. It might just be like black sugar candy. Like, uh, what do you call it? Like rock candy kind of, I guess? I don't know. Two seventy nine. dollars How big is this thing? Like that big, maybe? Plus shipping. How much is it for shipping on this? I don't care enough to check. Okay. World's hottest gummy bear. Now this one actually seems somewhat interesting. A tiny little gummy bear that packs a huge amount of heat. One bear equals 900 jalapenos. That's crazy. It's $8.99. Free shipping for over 75 bucks, so that's a steal. There's only one bear in here, it looks like because they just have them in that front package. Oh, and it's flammable, by the way. This bear can be set on fire. Does that, is that real or is that just a meme? That's probably just a meme. So would you pay $9 for a gummy bear? But how hot are we talking though? Is it white people hot? Is it Spanish food hot? I don't think it's as hot as like a ghost pepper or something like that. And certainly for $9, this thing better burn a hole through my tongue and through my skull down into my spine. This is the one that made me want to make a video on this. Nose aerobics basketball dude look at this sh <laughs> they have the dumb little kid for the picture which is great that's beautiful i'm gonna put that in the thumbnail but they also have this guy who's like clark kent looking ass like mr handsome he kind of looks like the guy that presents the different prizes on um the price is right it's a pair of glasses with a little basketball on the end of it which is a fantastic idea a fantastic idea well done whoever thought of this man god i wish i could hire you dude Ooh, you do have to put it together uh choking hazard guys by the way this one actually is a choking hazard a hilarious game of basketball just put on these glasses and entertain yourself for hours take turns and find out who can make the most baskets in a five minute period wear these around the house or at the office when you get bored you have entertainment instantly accessible instant entertainment these days is kind of like a uh, netflix or you know youtube this is kind of genius i kind of do want this if you wear this to the office you are going to get fired there's not a chance in hell you keep your job after this all it takes is for one guy to take a picture and send it up the chain to corporate and he's like, get the hell out of here. You can't have a personality at the office. This is interesting. Sharon P, the only review, it's verified by the way from two years ago, it says have not received this item. Ordered this item, she reviewed it. Five stars by the way, which means this item is great. Sharon, what are you doing girl? Are you okay? You didn't hit yourself in the head with this little basketball, did you? I mean, you didn't even get the thing, so there's no way you could have done it. When I pay for things, I want to receive them, you know? I don't like just uh, throwing my money down the drain. If I did, I would just buy crypto. I want her to get a win, you know what I mean? Sharon's been passed up too many times in her life, so she really needs someone to come through on this. I'm here for you, I root for you, I ride for you, girl. I wanna get this done right. Now, this is informative. This is the kind of good quality stuff that's online. This honestly feels like a parody of something you would see on uh, Infowars or some sh How to talk to your cat about gun safety book. That's good that they have a cat there, so I know that he's learning. Twelve dollars. Damn. How is it written? Like, does it just say meow on every page? Meow, 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 gun. Meow, 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 AR-15. The first question many of you will be asking is, do I really need to teach my cat about gun safety? The answer is unequivocal, yes. Do cats really play with guns? Yes, absolutely yes. Even a cursory search of the internet will turn up 
dozens of pictures of cats playing with guns. People that own guns probably don't also have a cat. You know what I mean? I don't see much overlap, but nevertheless, this is super educational. I highly recommend this. No, wait, it's how to talk to your cat about gun safety and abstinence, drugs, Satanism, and other dangers that threaten their nine lives. That's true. Some people don't know how to talk to their cats about gun safety, right? I might actually buy that if I can find it used at a garage sale because I don't want to pay shipping for this. There's kind of a new age in self-help and like funny, relatable personal items where they put the F word in everything. Hand cream, I'm a delicate f flower. We were doing that in 2015, weren't we? Like, eh, I'm, I'm kind of over it, you know? Yodeling pickle. Notice how expensive yodeling pickle is? Before we even talk about it, it is $14.99, dog. Choking hazard, you gotta watch that, guys. Don't let your kids uh, near this yodeling pickle. A must have in every household. Yodeling pickles are a delight for all. Press the button and hear it yodel. Batteries are included, six and a half inches long. That's good. So you can also use that as a measuring stick as well. It kind of looks like a, a weed pipe, you know? I'm convinced that they made this after that Rick and Morty episode with Pickle Rick. I feel like that's the only reason that this thing would be around. But for 14 bucks, that's actually a steal. So you should hop on this. Klunt is a man of intelligence. He is go-to pickle for the job, and we have fought side by side together since the reckoning. Klunt is not a pickle to mess around with. His suave demeanor and melodic mating call strike fear in the hearts of all who dare come near. Klunt will not take no for an answer. Be prepared for many long saloon, saloon shootouts, yodeling until the roosters come a cluckin'. I feel you. I know where you're coming from. Okay, squirrel in underpants air freshener. Now this is the sh Who the hell realized that squirrel Squirrels are both naked and they wanted to put underwear on them and they wanted to put it on an air freshener and sell it for four bucks. But now this only has a four and a half star uh, review. Appropriately dressed squirrel in underwear will grace your car window and make it smell like a fresh forest. Forest, like Forrest Gump, okay. Funny gift, haven't been able to send this item as gifts yet due to health issues, have to put it on back burner, sorry. Linda says very cute with an exclamation mark, but only four stars, Linda. Why didn't you go for the five? Was the squirrel missing something? Like, do you want him to be wearing a t-shirt? Why would you not give him that extra star, Linda? Do you have something against squirrels? Ooh, this is good. Grow a boyfriend. $2.99 for adults grows to six times its original size. Drop it in water and watch it grow. It's not pretend when you grow the perfect friend. Okay. Having trouble getting a date? Yes. Tired of the real thing? Yes. <laughs> Want a boyfriend who won't hurt you, be rude to you, or speak poorly to you? Yes, yes, and yes. This guy makes a perfect date. Just drop him in water and watch him expand to six times his size. Instant boyfriend. He kind of looks like that buff Jesus um, statue that's online sometimes. See, here is yet another customer who left a review, also five stars, and says, haven't received the order yet, been a long time. Janine and, what was the other one, Sharon? I mean, those all sound like fake names, honestly. But why would they say they haven't gotten it yet if it's a fake review? They would say like, oh, this is so great, I love it. Janine, why did you buy this anyway? I think that's your fault, Janine. You know life isn't that easy, Janine. You can't just grow, boyfriends. Ooh, off the wagon shop, you gotta explain this sh boy. Oh, well, I guess I'm not gonna buy anything from here. I'll probably buy the yodeling pickle. I have to give myself some time to really, what would you call it? Convince myself that I need it you know, before I drop 14 bucks on it. Meanwhile, I'll go spend 20 bucks on fast food tomorrow. There's plenty of other shit on here though. I'm not, this is like the first page. I don't know, we might do this again. Who knows, Uranus soap. See, that's, that's a good idea. That's funny. All right, I gotta go. I'll see you later. Thanks for watching.